Roxana, Roxana touched on the heat that we are enduring here in the south, the southwest, and it really is just uh, ugh, it's awful. Exactly. It's unbearable. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say unbearable because we are bearing it, but it's awful. No, yeah, it really is awful, and it can't be dangerous, Ken and Karen, and you know, ugh, it's kind of like a scientific term that we're all saying as you step on out of the door, and we're going to be dealing with the uh, heat alerts again tomorrow, but the excessive heat warning is only until 9 o'clock tonight, then transitions to a heat advisory for Friday, but still something you need to pay attention to. On top of that, we have elevated fire dangers to the west sides of North Texas because of lower humidity and gusty winds. Now, there are low weekend rain and storm chances in the forecast and a slight break in the triple digit heat. But that's not today, where we do have this excessive heat warning through 9 o'clock for all of North Texas. Then you can see how it transitions over there to the heat advisory through 9 o'clock. So, will we see record heat this week? We're close. And tomorrow we're forecasting about 103 to 104. Uh, the record high is 107. On Saturday, forecasting about 101. The record's 107. Where are we right now? We're at 101 with that south wind at 16 gusting to 23. So it makes it, uh, you know, kind of one of those hair dryer moments out there. You have a breeze, but when you have the humidity, it feels like 113. The actual temperature right now in Bridgeport, 108. We're at 95 though in McKinney to 98 in Rockwall, a little bit further to the east of where we have the center of the high pressure in the upper levels. But the west sides of North Texas, drier and hotter for us. It feels like 110 Bowie, Graham to Bridgeport to 112 in Mineral Wells. So we have that alert continuing here from the first alert weather center for those feels like temperatures up to 115 and also that excessive heat warning in place. Talked about the drought and you notice that now the drought is expanding more over the west sides of the Metroplex. We're under severe drought uh, to moderate drought. A lot of North Texas starting to dry out even more. So we need the rain. I want to point out we're dry out to the west. So the current humidity is near 20% and winds are out of the south near about 15 gusting up higher than that. So those in combination have an elevated fire threat for today and tomorrow. Pretty much the west sides of North Texas, west of the Metroplex. Please keep that in mind. So rain chances are at 20% tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday night into Sunday, 20 to then 30%. So not a lot. We'll take any we can get. What's happening in the upper levels, that area of high pressure is shifting its way towards the west. We will see that northwest flow aloft. So any activity in Oklahoma will try to work its way down to the east southeast and then into tomorrow morning. Maybe some spotty showers around, some much needed cloud cover. Same story then going into Friday night into Saturday. We even Saturday afternoon might see a couple of isolated showers pop up. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes on that. So the first alert seven day forecast shows that little dip with a front on the way going into Saturday to Sunday with our temperature. Right now, I'm only forecasting 96 for the high on Sunday. So that's a needed relief for us. However, we have that heat dome that will build next week. By next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we're near 104 to 105. We know it gets hot here in July, but this is that dangerous heat returning. Yeah. Sure is. All right, Scott, thank you.